In today's lesson, I was hoping for students to interact with uh, Latin that had the grammar concept we had just covered, as well as an exciting new development in the story of the characters in our textbook. So I wanted them to spend some time exploring what was happening in this particular chapter and to be able to make some meaning out of that and then represent it for themselves in an artistic way. Every chapter in this textbook has a series of four or five stories, which is great, but it can be difficult sometimes to come up with new and interesting ways for the student to look back at the story, to to reread the story. So today's lesson incorporated making a pop-up book. Students often need repeated exposure to the story. And rather than just say, let's reread the story for a second time or a third time, I really worked to create activities that build that in. I find that often students in talking to one another can enhance their own understanding of the story. Perhaps their partner understood a sentence that they struggled with. But also when we are forced to put our ideas and our understandings of things into our own words, we internalize it a little bit more. We deepen our comprehension of what was happening there. I'm not usually a big collaborating person, but doing all of these collaborative activities in class, I think in a way it helps enhance my learning. It helps me remember. It also teaches me about skills like you need later on in life, about like teamwork and being able to get along with people. This year, I would love for my students to feel like they can encounter a Latin text and read it effectively. Maybe not understand every single word, but absolutely get caught up in the narrative, in following a character through whatever is happening to them in that particular story. I want them to feel like I can read Latin. I can look at this text and understand information from it, and to take a sense of pride in all of the growth that they've accomplished. I think I could use what I learned today in later on in life because, for example, Latin is part of the Romance languages and if I ever wanted to learn a different Romance language in the future, I think it'd be helpful just to know the origins of it, which makes it easier to translate and understand. And also, I just think that in this class, I just learned a lot about um, really the structure behind language, not just the meaning, but also you really pay attention to grammar in Latin, and I think that's something that's a little overlooked. And it definitely makes stuff like talking and knowing what people are saying and doing standardized testing all just so much easier. And I just think that the habits you learn in this class really help you in other classes and later on in life.